Thanks for tuning in to KMTC Pro at kmtcpro.com. That's Kingdom Music Training Center. Today we're going to be going over advanced preacher chords in all 12 keys. I'm going to break down the theory behind this so that you'll have a rationale for learning how to play preacher chords in all 12 keys and not just the basic things that you see on YouTube. We're going to go through more advanced preacher chords um, and again with the logic and the theory explained for it. So we're going to start off in the key of C. We know that C is the 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, a is 6, B is 7, and C is 1. All right, so things that you can do on the 1. I have 1, 2, 3. I have about four different options for things you can play on the 1. So on the 1, you have C in the bass. The first option is the famous 13 sus chord, right? So what I'm thinking, this is my logic behind it. We're playing the 1 in the bass. In my left hand, I'm going to play the flat at 7th. Uh, so find the flat at 7th. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The flat at 7 is B flat. I'm going to form a major chord with the flat at 7 tone. So C in the bass, B flat major in my right hand, excuse me, in my left hand, and my right hand is going to find the fourth scale degree, 1, 2, 3, 4, and play a major chord off of that. So I'm not thinking A, I'm not thinking F, A, B flat, D, F, A, and C. What I'm thinking is on the 1, I'm going to play the flat at seventh tone, which is a major chord, or we can add the major seventh, which is the A, all right? And then in my right hand, I'm thinking that four and making it a major. So that's the 13th sus chord, all right? Now, a, a shortcut to finding the flat at seventh is if C is my bass note, just go a whole step down in your left hand and make that the flat at seventh. So this is the C. A whole step down from that is B flat. So. I know I'm going to play a B-flat major chord or B-flat major 7th in the left hand, and my right hand, again, is going to find that 4 and make it major. And I can play that 4 major in any inversion. All right, so that's my logic for the 1, right? The 13th sus chord. Then you could also do a diminished 7th chord. All right? So we have the 1 on the bass. The diminished 7th is going to be a C diminished 7th, the first scale degree. In my left hand... You can make it a fully seventh, a fully diminished seventh, which would be C, A, G flat, and E flat. Or you could just play the tritone off of your bass note. So this is literally forming a tri a tritone from my bass note, which is C. So then I make a C tritone. And that works. And then in my right hand I'm playing the fully diminished seventh. So we have the sus thirteen. We have the diminished seventh chord, and then of course you have the dominant seventh. How I'm choosing to voice this is I have the bass. My left hand is playing the tritone for my bass, so not the tritone using the bass, but the tritone that goes with it. The tritone that goes with it, you just want to go up, down a whole step. So from C, I'm going to go to B flat and form a tritone with that. Okay, and it's called a tritone because it's three whole steps apart from each other, the two notes that form it. So B flat, go down a whole step, down a whole step, down a whole step. Three whole steps is your tritone. All right? And then in my right hand, I'm just playing a major chord off of the first scale degree. So again, I'm not thinking E, B flat, E, G, and C. I'm thinking dominant seventh chord. I'm voicing it with the one major and its tritone couple. Okay? Um, another way that you could do the one, we have the sus chord, we got the diminished seventh, and we got the dominant seventh, right? Also, I could choose to voice this by using the quarter chord off of the second scale degree. So one, two, form a quarter chord, and that sounds good also. And I'm using the same tritone in my right hand. All right? So those are the four options that you can play on the one, right? Um, on the three. I'm going to use the same uh, the same left hand tritone, so E and B flat, right? I'm going to use the same major chord off of the one. So I'm basically doing the same thing I did on the one, but I'm doing it on the three, right? You can also do the quarter chord off the second scale degree. So the same thing that we covered on the one, you can do that again on the three, all right? Now things get kind of fun here. One thing that I like to do to carry me from the three to the four or to move forward is to play the flat at third in my right hand. So one, two, three, flat that and make it major. 
and that sounds pretty good too. So you have the one, you got the three, you can play it that major, and you can do it any inversion you want. Okay, something else you could do, instead of using the flat at third to move forward to the fourth, you can find the sharp five and make that major. So we know one, two, three, four, five, sharp that, which is A flat. So now on the three, I'm playing an A flat major off of that sharp five. All right, so those are four different options you can do on the three. You can do it again, your regular dominant chord. You can use a quarter chord off the second scale degree. You can do the flat at third and make it major, or you can do the flat, the sharp five and make it major. And that will take us to the four, which is F. So on the four, I'm gonna find the tritone for that. So go down a whole step from my bass, which is E flat and make that tritone. So that's going on in my left hand. My right hand is just gonna play a four and make it major. So we have that option. Um, you could also find the first scale degree and make it minor. So first scale degree in C is C. So play a C minor in that same left hand and same bass. Another option is to find the fifth scale degree and make it a quarter chord. One, two, three, four, five. And that sounds pretty good too. All right? Or you can even play the sixth quarter chord over it, and that sounds pretty cool. And last one, you can even form a quarter quarter off the second scale degree. So one, two. And that sounds pretty cool too. So that's just some shortcuts of things that you can do on the four. So you got four, uh, actually five more options to play the four. You can play it straight. You can do the minor. You can do the, uh, the five quarter, the six quarter, or the two quarter. Okay, then that takes us to the sharp four. In preaching chords, it's pretty standard to just play a diminished seventh on the sharp four. So I'm going to form the sharp four is a G flat. So I'm going to make a G flat diminished seventh chord. So and I'm doubling that in both hands. So I got E flat, G flat, A, and C. All right. Or you can just do the tritone here, G flat and C, if you like. All right. And then you go to the five. So on the five. Um, there are a couple things that I like to do. I'll find the fourth scale degree and make it major. So one, two, three, four. Make that major, and I'm doubling it in both hands. So F, A, and C. Another thing you could do is go back to the flat at third and make that major. And play the tritone in your left hand. So the tritone for the five is essentially off of the four. F and B. And then my right hand is playing that flat at third. One, two, three. Flat that and make it major. And then you go back to the one. If you choose to. Alright? So those are options that you can do on the one, the three, the four, the sharp four, the five. Let's look at the sixth tone. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be A. So if I have the A in my bass, one thing that I like to do on the six is to form a quarter chord on the five on my right hand, so that's G, C, and F, right? And then my left hand, I'm going to form a ditone using the bass note. So if the bass note is A, I'm going to use a, di a ditone in my left hand. So the ditone is A and C sharp. And as a, re as a refresher, to form a ditone, you're going to go uh, find a note and then go up two whole steps. So one whole step, two whole steps, hence ditone. Dies for two. All right, and that's what I'm playing on the six. Something else you can do on the six is you can play the tritone for that. So instead of playing the ditone in my left hand, I'm going to play the tritone for the bass. So go down a whole step and form a tritone off of that. And then my right hand, I'm going to play the fourth scale degree as a major chord. So one, two, three, four. And that sounds really good together. All right? All right, and the six normally takes us to the two. After I do that six, what I like to do on the two is to take a one in my right hand and left hand, the first scale degree, and form that diminished seventh. So that's that same C diminished seventh, or I'm literally just forming a diminished seventh chord off of the, fir off of the first tone of the scale. Okay, so that's one thing you could do. Um, if you were just gonna go from like a one chord, you could go to the two this way 
and play it like this. So I'm thinking in this case, there's the bass, the two, and my right and left hand are doubling just the fourth scale degree making that major, so an F major. So that's really forming um, a diminished seventh chord off of the second scale degree, which in this case is D, so it's a D diminished seventh. So those are two options you can use on the two. You can form the one and play the diminished seventh, or you can just do a minor seventh um, off of the two. So you have the six, you have the two. That normally goes back to your five. Um, so let's talk about that. On the five, again, you can do the four major, or on the five, you can do the tritone and the flat at third to make that major. That normally takes you back to the one. All right, so that's the six, two, five, one. And then one other thing that I like to do is off of the two. Sometimes I go up to the sharp two. The sharp two, all I'm doing is playing a diminished seventh again off of the first scale degree. So again, that C diminished seventh can pop up there and can take you to the three. Okay, so you can do the one, the two, the sharp two, to the three. And then you can use that to the four, like we've been talking about thus far. All right, so that's it. Um, so that's priest records in the key of C major. Um, and for the most part, these are the diatonic ones that go along with it. All right, if you want access to this content in all 12 keys, just go to the link in the description box or just visit kmtcpro.com for details. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, click, and subscribe to my channel.